Okay, so today we're actually uh, about to go pick up Caleb and then we're going to go down to Lakeland to pick up some more car parts and um, hopefully uh, you'll get to see the install and maybe you'll like what I did to the car, so yeah. We're letting Caleb test out the six speed. Trying out the six speed, see how much I miss it. Starting my DCT. <laughs> Man, I'm not gonna lie, I do miss a good six speed. back and I have a new toy steering wheel first things first is we got to remove the battery terminal so we get the battery out or not battery out but no power to the car all right take your Phillips you have two little holes on the bottom to pop this out and hopefully Remember how this works. Feel it. Oh. No, God. No, God, please, no, 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 no. So you get it loose. Go. And then you have some clips. Actually, hold on one second. Let me make sure. Yep, batteries. Dunzo. There's one clip. Boom. Done. Try not to scratch yours. Airbag. All right. Next, we have a couple of bits we need to remove right here and right here. Yeah. Okay, since. Right here. Got one. Buy yourself a Milwaukee. It's the best thing ever. One underneath. Perfect. Good. Just try not to break the clips. Yeah. Okay, after some finessing, you pull on it pretty hard and it's gonna come out. And then this bottom piece should wiggle out. This is the part I was worried about. <laughs> uh, it's got some foam, that's why. It had some foam stuck to it. Look at that. Little bit of wear for me, but it's fine. All right, and now let's remove the steering wheel. All right, so this is a 16. Hold the steering wheel. Boom, Dunzo. Put this away. It came right off. Look at that. Now to swap everything over. Yep. We have two bolts here and here that we need to take out. be able to remove these. Put this right there. And then right there. Hmm. I don't know what I'm doing yet. <laughs> uh, so this is supposed to go in here. I'm not quite sure how. Right, so if you're trying to uh, do this, avoid yeah. removing this piece out because now I don't know how it's supposed to go back in currently. That uh, piece. Was it actually in the wheel? Yeah, it's like it's 
supposed to stay. There we go. Like so. Figured it out. There we go. Oh yeah. It'll be easy, they said. This part's probably the most annoying part. Everything else was super easy. Steering wheel can only go on one way. It's sort of set um, right here. So there it goes. Boom. Done. Tighten it. Right there, and then we're going to torque it down. So this, you just clip back in, just push it in. The top clips up here, they're just gonna snap in, so they'll stay in place. Then you have clips all around, which all snapped in. And then you put the bolts that are right here, here, and down here, in, and that's all set. All right, this is installed. It started raining, so I had to stop filming, but this is installed with the, uh, oh, it's not my phone. I have CarPlay automatically playing. So, wipe down some of this leather so it doesn't get ruined from the rain. But, right here you'll notice that when I was pulling this out, because it didn't unlatch completely, I scratched it by accident. Um, so just be careful when you're pulling it out. This will actually come out with some uh, leather conditioner and stuff. Um, so, yeah, don't worry too much about it. Now, it's not a bad gouge. If you get a bad gouge, then it, that's when you'll have to worry. But mine wasn't too bad. I'll be able to condition this. And then with leather over time, you get the wear look. So this will actually like wear in. Um, I think I just scratched it a little bit right there too. But not a big deal. Um, the steering wheel looks great. It's a little bit thicker. Um, I do lose the heating element, which sort of sucks. But um, we're in Florida, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, overall, it looks and feels great. I can't wait to go for a drive with it. Yeah, so as I said before, unfortunately, the Florida rain sort of got us, so I had to stop showing you a lot of stuff. Okay, puppers, again. It, see, this is Wanda. She likes to interrupt. Um, and we're going to actually do a video on cleaning the Alcantara because I bought mine used. Uh, so we're going to actually clean it. Um, Kyler's actually going to do that, so go watch it on his channel. I'll link it down below. And um, after that, we'll be actually repainting the blue strip because mine was a little faded. I actually bought the acrylic leather paint to fix that. So if you're like me and you don't like paying full price, uh, which is $1,200 for that steering wheel, um, I copped mine for about uh, $300, um, and, I got, uh, and I also got Caleb's. Uh, for him for 300 and we're gonna install his next um, so his might is probably gonna go a little bit smoother than mine uh, just because now we know um, and uh, Yeah, so we're gonna fix his up too. his was dirt. His is gonna be dirty um, and gonna have a um, Faded blue strip also and we'll paint his also so uh, we'll probably see that on the channel soon um, Be sure to like and subscribe comment on what else you want to see